So I sent it to the client and I was like, what should we do about this? And she was like, oh, I think it's almond milk trolling again. <laughs> and I was like, lady, let's put this into perspective, okay? There are people in this world who don't even know that you can milk an almond. <laughs> And I realized this is the whitest conversation I've ever had. <laughs> um, I have, have been taking the train at rush hour quite a bit, and I don't know if a side effect of claustrophobia is rage, but it is for me. <laughs> I get very angry. Um, I was taking the train, and I saw a girl reading, and I was like, oh, she's reading a book? Does she think she's better than me? <laughs> I will fucking kill her. <laughs> Remember back a few minutes ago when I said I studied English in college? I paid to read books for four years. That's what I'm saying. Um, I also like, it's also difficult being a short person because you're always in somebody's armpit. And at Bedford Avenue, this guy pushed past me and I almost fell over because I'm like a short person. I almost fell over. And he was like, there's more room in the middle. And I was like, watch it, asshole. And everyone looked at me like I was a crazy person. Despite what you may think, I don't want to be looked at like that. <laughs> don't. So I learned my lesson. And the next time I was taking the train at rush hour, some kid, not a kid, not a kid, a preteen, old enough to know better, he got on the train with a full-sized beanbag chair. <laughs> Beanbag chair, on the train, Russia. A chair made out of beanbags. <laughs> I did not say a word to him though. I took his picture and I sent it to Gothamist like a real New Yorker. <laughs> that is what we do! <laughs>